large crescent made from a glass and carbon fiber composite and decorated in gold mosaic. The crescent weighs 107 tons and measures 23 meters in diameter. It is the largest crescent ever constructed and home to a prayer room, which is the highest usable space inside any building in the world. The world's largest written takbir, the phrase, God is great, is visible on the panels above the clock. Here the letter alif is more than 23 meters high. The Islamic creed, there is no God but God, and Muhammad is his messenger, is visible on the side panels. The facade of the clock comprises 43,000 square meters of advanced composite material. Composites of this kind are also used in the aerospace industry. This high-tech material is more than three times stronger than steel and resistant to extreme climatic conditions. The ornate facade of the Mecca clock is covered with 98 million colored glass mosaic tiles. A quarter of one clock face, complete with clock drive and working hands, was set up and successfully tested over the course of several months. The construction team has been trained to ensure smooth and efficient installation on site in Mecca. Inspections were carried out at all major development stages with the direct involvement of the senior management. Installation of the clock faces and their respective components has been completed on site. Initially, the clock face design was flat with no angle of indentation. To improve legibility and to reduce the impact of the wind forces, the clock face was optimized to its final concave shape. The supporting steel structure was subsequently redesigned. The clock face is made up of four ornamented corners coordinated hour and minute indicators, and the national emblem, the largest emblem of the kingdom ever built. The inscription on the clock face reads, built during the time of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz al Saud. In addition to this, the year in which the test operation on the first clock started, 1431 Hijri, 2010 Gregorian, is written separately alongside the inscription. The minute hands on the northern and southern clock faces are 23 meters long. The hour hands are 17 meters long. Each of the clock hands weighs six tons. As a result, a clock drive mechanism had to be developed which could support the immense weight of the clock hands. At first, a clock drive mechanism was designed that used two separate systems to drive each clock hand. This mechanism weighed around five tons. The shorter hour hand was driven by a small central drive unit, while the end of the longer minute hand was mounted on a peripheral track. A large circular slit in the clock face was needed for a bracket connecting the clock hand to the track. The complexity of this system would have resulted in higher maintenance demands and greater risks of malfunction. Through the slit in the face, sand, dust and rain could have entered, potentially causing damage to the clock mechanism and lighting systems. It was decided to redesign the system to find a more suitable solution. After several design iterations, a set of aerodynamic carbon fiber clock hands was developed. Wind force simulations proved that these alterations made it safe to use a central drive unit 
for both hands. This solved the issues of the previous drive system and also led to a more efficient clock drive. In the finalized design of the clock drives, each of the clock hands is driven by a separate motor. These clock drives have been carefully constructed by the world's leading manufacturer of tower clocks. Each drive unit weighs 21 tons. They are the biggest and heaviest clock drives ever built. 